Sunday, July the 2nd. Yeah, we're in the bus on the way to the Uzbekistan Embassy. Yes, a lot of fun. <laughs> have to collect our Uzbekistan visas. Hopefully that goes through okay. But you never know these visas. And uh, when we've got those, then we're off to Kashan. That's better, that's more fun. So let's get the visas done first and then we'll be back on the road. That was the fastest visa we ever picked up. It took about 30 minutes <laughs> to pay the money. We could actually pay the money at the embassy. How easy is that? We like Uzbekistan. <laughs> Excellent embassy. Okay, we're off to Kashan now. I thought the others would have to wait hours until we were finished here, but it's, uh, no. Excellent. We got visas for Uzbekistan. She's down there. Funny embassy though, or consulate, we didn't actually have to go into any office. It just it was a kind of gate, and a lady came to the gate. A little bit like uh, Maria in uh, Sound of Music, and just put the papers through the through the fence. <laughs> But never mind that, we've got the visas. Okay, we're at 50 kilometers from Kasha now. It's starting to look a lot like desert now. Okay, we arrived in Kasha. Very old, ancient city. This is 9,000 year old city. They even believe the three wise men came from this town. <laughs> so, gonna be a lot of good things to see here. I'm gonna be here tomorrow, or well, the rest of this afternoon and tomorrow. But the most important thing now is get some lunch. So we're gonna have a dinner in this nice restaurant here. So right, this very nice restaurant here. Quite a buffet style. Oh, this is an Iranian buffet. Salad. Different types of rice, sweet rice noodles and stews, and, uh, vegetable stew we had the other day. Very nice. Yeah, just eating a really nice buffet here with all kinds of food, different rice and vegetables and everything. And it costs uh, five euro per person. <laughs> Incredible. It's, uh, Extremely good food as well, and really nice place. Just checking into a new hotel. <laughs> it's very nice here. I think. What nice places we're staying in. <laughs> okay, time for a bit of sightseeing here in Kashan. How about Basog Mosque? This will be the first thing we see here. Wait until late in the evening now because it's extremely hot today in the middle of the desert here. So. Good time now to come and uh, have a walk around. I think we're going to go see the mosque here, then an uh, ancient bazaar. We can go and see as well. Oh, let's go and have a look at this. This looks interesting. Seven color pipes. Seven color is just a name I mentioned. It doesn't mean that they use only seven colors. No, it's just a name. Seven is the number of evolution in Iran. Means something which is going to be completed. About the. This is ancient way of cooling down buildings and air conditioning. This is also used as a school of theology, not just a mosque for praying. So, School of Theology here as well. And they, the wind towers there, they uh, call the lower floors down. There's some wind which is nice, but it is totally hot wind. It's like it a hot is, air dryer. Yes, like a very hot air dryer. Constantly. There's nothing fresh or cool. Nothing. Here they're only warm 
the air is coming in here. It's not cold. So in Denmark, it's cold when it's warm. But here, it's warm and absolutely so warm. So yeah, every time we are in hotel, turn the air conditioner. Never stop the air Biking and sleeping in the tent in Uzbekistan. Really, really don't know. powerful earthquake here for about 200 years ago so a lot of this is uh, recreated again so it looks uh, quite new in some places and uh, not easy to spot the places where it's original and this mosque is quite unique because the minarets are lower than the dome we'll show you in a few minutes on the other end Entering the bazaar here. Some the spices there. What else can we see for sale here? Mm -hmm. Islamic uh, top or skirt kind of thing, so then she's too to find one more. <laughs> First time we've seen so many ladies dressed in traditional black Islamic clothing. But the uh, good thing is you can walk through here and not one single person hassles us or heckles us into any shops or anything. But, uh, have a walk through and you can have a look around and uh, yeah, see the different things on sale. Really interesting. with some uh, large group of people they came here to sell to test the Kashan or to sell something in Kashan so usually uh, they... something happened a few times that women they like to have group photos with Meta and Nina and uh, Kirsten <laughs> thank you <laughs> this is the, uh, hello <laughs> this is another Caravanserai. If you remember we saw these in Turkey, this one is still in use. This is where the, the merchants on the ancient Silk Roads would come here and sell their goods. Also you could uh, sleep here for the night. It's a kind of ancient motel. You would sleep here the night, sell your goods and then move on the next day. And, uh, this is still in use today. There's a huge hole in the roof. This keeps the, uh, the room cool here when it's extremely hot outside, but inside here it's very nice. Okay, so we're back in a conservative Islamic city of Kashan. As you saw, just walking through the bazaar there, it's a very traditional conservative place. Really interesting place to be. So, uh, yeah, I didn't expect to see so much today. I thought the main thing was get our Uzbekistan visas, but that went pretty quickly, really. The easiest visa we've collected so far, so that was great. Extremely friendly people there in the embassy, so uh, that was good. Then we. Uh, this afternoon on the bus, nice lunch, and then a 
rest in the hotel and then we just been to see two great places the the mosque and the, the bazaar so that was nice so um, really nice really pleased to be here in Kashin you now uh, you see the place is alive now and it's a uh, nice temperature now in the evening so that's nice but uh, we'll go in the restaurant now in the hotel and uh, have a rest and just uh, have dinner now people eat uh, quite late here um, usually they don't eat until uh, the sun goes down in in uh, Iran so uh, and, uh, one last thing that's quite funny that uh, in Iran we're actually two and a half hours ahead of Denmark and three and a half hours ahead of England yes actually three and a half yes I don't know why they don't keep to a full hour but they're actually a half an hour so, two and a half hours ahead of uh, Denmark now. Yeah. So, okay, that was great. Tomorrow we're going to be seeing a few historical houses here. A historical hammam and uh, other things here in Kashin. So that'll be another good day here in Kashin. We've got a full day here tomorrow as well. Okay, see you tomorrow.